My first song of the month was released in 1958 by the rock and roll artist Buddy Holly, and it is called Well Alright. It is slightly different from Buddy's usual style, however I do believe that it is one of his finer works and it has quickly become a favorite of mine. Unfortunately, I could not find any history on this piece other than the release date and the fact that it was the B-side for another Buddy Holly single, Heartbeat. My second song of the month is a Christmas carol called In the Bleak Midwinter. And my favorite performance of this carol is by the choir of King's College. In the Bleak Midwinter was based on a poem written by the English poet Christina Rossetti in 1872. Later in 1906, the poem was slightly altered and set to music. I found this carol to be refreshing as well as beautiful because of the well-written music and the well-written lyrics. My film of the month is a 2005 Christmas TV special called Rick Steves' European Christmas. Rick Steves is a television travel guide who has made quite a few documentaries about the various countries throughout Europe. What I like about his documentaries is that they are not boring geography lectures. Instead, they are a warm, inviting window through which you can view different cultures and countries. And you almost feel as if you are visiting those places yourself. This specific documentary focuses on how different people throughout Europe celebrate Christmas. It focuses on many different subjects, including music, food, and an assortment of traditions and their history, all paired with beautiful cinematography. My book selection for the month of November and December is The Story of Jesus, created and compiled by the Reader's Digest. This book is from the early 90s, 1993 to be exact. As you could probably guess from the title, it is about the life of Jesus, his descension to earth, his life, death, and his reascension back to heaven. What is interesting about this book is the fantastic compilation of artwork depicting the entire Jesus story. It has pieces from different time periods, including the medieval, the Renaissance, the Romantic, and modern eras. It also has pieces from all over the world and an array of different mediums, such as painting, sculptures, mosaics, furniture, and stained glass. My beauty item for the months of November and December is a Revlon nail varnish called Divine. Divine is a lovely red-brown shade with a hint of sparkle. And while it is a very lovely hue, it does look a little different after it has been painted on the nail. On the nail, it is a bit darker and has less sparkle than what the varnish looks like in the bottle. Even though it looks 
slightly different. I am still very happy with this nail varnish and I will be wearing it throughout the holiday season. My fashion item for the months of November and more specifically December is this lovely vintage brooch. This brooch is in the shape of a wreath and it has little gemstones dotted throughout the wreath. At the top it has a golden bow with a green gemstone at the center and then hanging down is a sweet little golden bell. Unfortunately the bell does not ring. I think that is really the only disappointing factor about this brooch. Other than that, it is a lovely brooch and I look forward to wearing it all throughout December.